Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to hit some different types of bunker shots. So I've made a video on bunker shots the easy way, and I'll put a link up the top of the page there and in the description below. So they bunker shots bring fear to a lot of people, but that need not be the case. Usually there is technique flaws. So where a lot of people go wrong, just in short, is they Instead of having that shallow angle of attack, and that allows you to just get under the ball and not dig too deeply, they think the bunker shot is a V-shaped swing and they really do chop down. So what happens then is the club enters the sand, the leading edge gets under the ball and it digs in, kills the speed, and the ball just goes and doesn't get out. So, or even worse, you might hit the ball first and then shoot it into the face of the lip. So we want that shallow angle of attack, but it's all in the video, Bunker Shots the Easy Way. There's another one that I've made, which is called Bunker Shots Hard Sand. I'll put links to both those uh, in the description. Okay, so the first shot we're gonna hit today is the shot where the ball comes out higher than normal. You might have a steep lip in front of you, and there are lots of ways of doing it. I've also made a video on that another link in the description below but just as a simple concept i'm not going to teach you the the intricacies of the shot but just as a simple concept if we want this ball to get up high we need to hit through the shot and then finish with our hands high so if we can follow through into a higher position as long as we're not hitting up on it and that's the danger of this shot we really want to keep that shallow angle of attack but we're going to finish with our hands higher that's going to help get the ball up to its maximum height so we'll see how i go so there's my high hands and the ball came out nice and highly so as i said the danger is that when you think high you're going to hit up on it we don't want to hit hit up I just took some sand out and the ball has finished quite nicely. Okay, so the second shot that I'm gonna show you how to play today is where we need the ball to run a little bit. So if the pin was toward the back of the green, not necessarily where it is now, probably the first and easiest way of playing it is instead of using a lob wedge, use your 56 or even a 50 degree sand wedge or a gap wedge. So that's going to come out with less loft than that will roll. So that's the easiest one. But what's, let's say that we just have to hit the 60 degree. We want it to come out a little lower and we want it to land and then roll a little bit. So I'm not too worried about how close it finishes to this flagstick. Um, the flagstick's almost not there. We're just talking concepts of letting the ball come out low and releasing a little bit. So even though this is a gap, uh, sorry, a gap wedge, a lob wedge, which has got 60 degrees of loft, we can still get this coming out a little lower and letting it run a little more. So the easiest way to do that is to make sure that we finish with our hands low. That is not to say that we decelerate. We don't want that club slowing down, but we want to keep, the, keep that shallow angle of attack and we want to keep that club coming through lower. That's going to help get the ball rolling so the opposite of the last shot, high hands, high flight. This is lower shot, lower hands through the shot. We'll see how I go. So all the setup remains the same. I'm just thinking lower hands. So that's lower hands. The ball came out, took two bounces and checked. It's been raining this morning and the, gr the greens are a little soft. But yeah, lower hands, you can see the different ball flight. That's how you play that shot. So the only danger with that shot is that in trying to keep your hands low, you might decelerate and you've really got to make sure that you keep that club accelerating. So it's very important that we do that. Okay, so the next shot I'm going to teach you is that little soft bunker shot where you just have to get it out and over the lip and you want to finish close. So I've just thrown a golf ball just out. It's about th two paces on the green. First thing is, do you really need to get this close? So does the situation require it? Is it the first hole? So very rarely on the first hole would you, should you be thinking, oh, I really have to get this close. 
So you want to make sure that you get it out and get it on the green first and foremost. If it's the last hole and you know that you have to get down in two to beat your mates, to have your best score ever, to win a match play event, those sort of circumstances, this is when you might think about playing this shot and trying to get it close. So there are lots of different ways. The way I find the easiest is to try and keep our swing as normal as possible. We don't want to make too many changes to the technique. But the thing that I've worked out over the years that works best for me is to control this through tempo. So we use an overall much slower tempo than normal. It's the same swing, I don't want to get too short, but the, our brains tell us, oh, short shot equals short swing. And you can do it, but the problem is if you mistime it and you just catch the ball a little heavy and hit behind it, that ball is probably gonna stay in the bunker. So what we wanna do in this situation is still maintain a relatively long swing. I'm still accelerating, but I'm not accelerating as fast as a normal bunker shot. So I, the overall tempo of this shot is much, much slower. So we'll see how I go. Going for that ball just over the green. So it was a slower tempo, it's gone out probably about four to five feet past where I'd like it to be, but it gives me a chance to get it down. And there was no chance of me keeping it in the bunker, which is the most important thing. So it's one of those shots you should practice. Don't just do it because like you saw the video and then get out in your next game of golf and think, oh, Brian said to do it slow. I would really get you to practice it. And when you can hit the shot seven out of 10 times in practice, then you're ready to put that into play on the golf course. Okay, so the next shot I'm gonna teach you how to play is a longer bunker shot. And as I've said many times, the, the easiest way to hit a longer bunker shot, greenside bunker especially, is to just change the club and go from a 60 to a 56 or even a 50. That's the easiest way of the lot. But let's just say you want to hit a longer bunker shot with your 60 degree sand wedge. So, as I said, there's lots of different ways of doing it. The way that I've found works best for me is if I keep everything as normal as I can, but this time I'm gonna use a slightly faster swing tempo. I'm not gonna rush it. I'm keeping it the same tempo as I normally would, or not tempo, ratio. So it's almost a two to one ratio that your backswing is slower and the downswing is twice the speed of your backswing bit like a putting stroke, a bit like good chipping strokes, like pitching strokes, it's very similar. But overall on this shot, because I'm trying to hit the ball further to that back golf ball, what I'm really trying to do here is just to make sure that my, my tempo is a bit faster than usual. So let's see how I go. So just a little bit faster than normal. That's gone out to about two and a half feet, something like that. So the key essence of all of these shots is we try and keep our technique the same. I don't want different types of bunker shot techniques. I really, I've stuck to the same technique in all of these. I've had the same ball position. I've had the same level of open club face, which is pretty square. I don't open it too much. Not even on that really short shot. So the things that I'm trying to change when I'm playing these different shots, are we're looking at tempo, and you know, we're really just keep, keeping all those changes to a minimum. So tempo, we're looking at high hands, low hands, and if you can play around and get used to these sorts of shots, you're gonna get so much better at playing bunker shots on the golf course. As I always say, the best place to practice this is out on the golf course. So go and play a few holes. When you get the ball on the green, kick it in a bunker, have a go, put it in different situations. Get really good out of these things and I know in 2021, you're gonna really have an impact on your score. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.